Good afternoon, pigeons. It's Peace Bang, Victoria Weinstein, on April 9th, 2016, and we are going to be looking at this catalog, MIB, Making It Big, which has been doing business since the mid-80s, I think. And I got their catalog, and I was like, ah! So we're gonna be taking a look at some of the things that make me rant and rage. One great thing I do wanna say about this company is they make um, clothes up to size 8X. And that's awesome. Let's see more of that, companies, because everyone deserves cute clothes. I wish these clothes were cuter. But let's start. We're just gonna start from the front to the back, and this is something I just don't ever want you to wear because you're not Wilma Flintstone. That is a very ugly animal print. Um, and you're going to notice something. Every single one of these models is in a heel. There's a reason for that. Because these clothes, and a lot, many, many clothes for plus size women, look super frumpy if you wear flats. So look, oh, a heel, actually groovy little heels. This is a better tunic. She's wearing a nice long line um, necklace that is chunky enough to actually kind of balance out proportionally with these uh, the bold the bold print and the print is only on the pockets so that's kind of nice so that's a better option okay we're moving right along this is something that I wanted to point out to you and it's my never-ending um, crusade against capris okay now look at this woman she is frumpy and cute cute girl lady woman I'm um, sorry and you know the top is okay for hanging around these capris are of the devil and no one should ever wear them unless you're on vacation or you're at a clam bake look how much better and more elegant and just like someone you can take seriously even just I'm talking a day in the office you know making pastoral calls it's not going to oppress anyone we don't work in Calcutta it's not going to be painful to wear a cotton pant that actually reaches your ankle and it should be all the way down enough of these pants that are cut up to there they just are awful please have your pants the right length and this is the whole leggings thing that is happening and so you know what I think of leggings I don't care it's a tunic I still don't care don't care do not approve all right moving right along we have something that is actually very instructive I'm looking here at some tunics and trousers and I'm looking at these two outfits side by side it's so fun when we can look at something side by side I want you to notice how much less flattering this is and how much less sort of professional and polished she looks for one reason and that is that she's got a short sleeve and the sleeve the um the stripe on the sleeve is matching up exactly with this stripe across her um you know kind of her bosom and any and it's just creating it, my eye is drawn right here my eye is drawn away from her face and right here to this boxy crazy detail and these tunics are always so many of them are over designed and it's long and very unflattering now so much more flattering to have a tunic at this length I don't even know if it's shorter I think it is it's actually a shorter length she's wearing a bracelet length sleeve or something closer to it the, the lines are going down they're not attaching to the sleeve so she's not the eye isn't being drawn here I'm noticing face cute hair smile I see the human being there's a really nice v-neck here and the lines are elegant instead of all chopped up and blocky okay this is um, a similar kind of situation we don't need all of this kicking out skirt material here it's very very hard unless you're wearing a heel I mean again fine outfit go out to dinner in that outfit whatever don't, don't wear it to work all right this made me so mad I think this is the page I opened to and I immediately had a fit what is this why would anyone Look at, I mean, these women are so depressed. They're like, I'm getting paid to model these hideous, hideous blouses 
with no shape and, and the colors are you know they're okay and this woman like she's the camera notice how the camera is way up high looking down on her completely obliterating her neck making her head look bizarrely small because this is such an unflattering blouse they had to climb up on a ladder to shoot her from above to make it look like anything. They did the same thing with her. You can tell she's looking up into the camera. These are horrible, horrible, horrible. There's no waist, there's nothing, they're, ugh, come on. Now this looks so much better. This is actually, someone has pinned this in the back. I don't know if it's the same exact cut. It looks like the sleeve is a little more fitted. But again, don't, don't assume that your garment, when you order it, will have the same fit. In catalogs, there are, she might have hair clips clipping her clothes from behind to help her, um, you know, to help the, the garment fit her in a more flattering way. We don't know. Also want you to notice, these are not leggings. These are actually a slim cut pant, and the pant goes all the way to the ankle. She's wearing a little bit of a, um, an open toe wedge. She shouldn't be wearing pantyhose with those, but whatever, you know, one step at a time. And she actually looks like, you know, a uh, happy human being as opposed to these poor miserable women who just can't wait to put something on that looks decent on them. It's so awful. I hate button down short sleeve shirts. They're from Satan. All right, what are we looking at here? This was interesting. This was a whole spread of, um, I just wanted to let you see that again, the models are all wearing really high heels. Look at this gal. She's wearing these big clod hoppers and she's posing with her arms out and her leg kicked out because this outfit is horribly uh, unflattering and frumpy. There's no shape to the top. It's a horrible color. It practically matches her skin tone, which you don't ever, ever want to do. Um, and these disgusting length capris that look good on absolutely no one and steal our dignity as women. I hate this too. It's enormous. It's like this floral enormity. Cut it to there. Um, add a regular pant. Put on a you know belt. It put some design element that gives it a waist. Help me out here. She's wearing a really cute shoe. And uh, and more hideousness here. Like uh, this whole thing. Eh, I don't know. I don't like this. Uh, sort of poncho shape with such a full and unflattering length skirt. If, she's, if you're going to do a big poncho-y type top like this, the garish color is not not flattering on any... It's just, it's, it makes, it's, it looks like a very cheap garment. Um, you got to wear a really nice slim cut skirt, a little bit uh, shorter than this, to give you some, give your legs a chance to be shown. And of course, the top is, and these these shoes are just a bad, bad match. All right. Um, pardon my fingernails that I got when I thought it was going to be spring. Um, cuter and so much better because, again, she's got the, the tunic cutting her off around the hips, and she's not wearing the, this thing, like the, the floral thing we just looked at, all the way down into the bottom of the thigh, horribly swallowing. It swallows you up when you do that. Do not approve, and a nice shoe. But notice how these models are all standing with their hips flung out and stuff. That's to make the garment look flattering. Yeah, there's that horrible thing. I think that might be it for this catalog. So I hope you've gotten some good tips for fit and um, things that are not flattering. Our takeaways are that there's no reason to wear capris. The leggings, well, never mind. I've said enough about leggings. And really watch the, 